Okay. So here we go. My experience. Um, <clears throat> I stayed home. Uh, I'm going to use I statements as much as possible. Um, I stayed home, took care of all the things here while you went away for the weekend. Mm. And the my experience um, was, well, it, it was fairly normal for being at home, but maybe a little more complicated. There were um, there were important kid appointments that happened, and some of those were kind of stressful. And there was various house things breaking down. You know, it wasn't like uh, Jolie's away; I can just play all weekend. It was all the responsibilities uh, by myself. Which, um, although I used to break down like crazy <laughs> early on, now it's just like, yeah, okay, this is life. But it still takes its toll. And so I had this weekend, and uh, had my experience. Um, I, I fielded calls from you during the weekend because you weren't having a great time. Um, you were having kind of a rough time. And so in, in the context of being at home and being responsible for everything and having my plans for how I was going to spend my time, um, those, those got disrupted somewhat by you, uh, reaching out, which was entirely within the realm of our agreement. Um, and also did affect how my weekend went. And so by the, by the end of it, um, it was, well, um, it wasn't what I had planned yeah. and that, um, that didn't, that didn't feel great. Can I mirror back that much so I don't lose track? Certainly. Yeah. So what I'm hearing you say is that when I was gone for the weekend, even though you knew you'd have responsibilities, you maybe had even more responsibilities than you thought you would. Because not only was I were you taking care of home, but you also were fielding calls from me and handling my big emotions while I was traveling, which ideally was supposed to be like fun and light. So then you wound up with even more work on your plate um, and that you had some feelings about that, even though you, you know, it was within the scope of the agreement, you still had feelings about it. Did I yeah. get that right? You did. Right. So, uh, Is so I had way? feelings. Mm -hmm. You, you did get that right. And I, in, in the realm of, uh, as far as I've gotten, yeah, that, that covers okay. what I had to say. Um, and I did have feelings. They weren't feelings that were aimed at you. Like it wasn't resentment. It wasn't those kinds of feelings. It was just that kind of disappointment. Like, oh, I wanted things to go different. They went this way. I made my own decisions, decided how things would go. Uh, and it left some some lingering stress, disappointment, frustration like that about how the weekend went. When you got back, um, you had had a rough weekend and I'm, I'm aware of that. And the, um, for like the next 24 hours from when I picked you up, it was, it was, uh, constant unpacking of what your weekend had been. And in the moment I was, I was, I was, I was, I was on it. I was, I was there. I was, I was, um, uh, present for it and I, I was trying to and I think I was empathizing and supporting and doing all those things and then it became evident at some point um that I realized oh hey um wait I, I'm not sure I have the well I have the bandwidth but it's really starting to cost me uh, because I had my own stuff and none of that was, uh, I, I, well, I chose not to interrupt what your experience was with mine because your, I mean, I, I judge that yours was far more, uh, disruptive than mine was, but mine still was. And can I mirror that back? Yeah. Okay. I just don't want to lose track of what what you've said yeah i appreciate you 
stepping in like that. It doesn't have to be one big chunk. Okay. Um, I'm hearing that when I came home, I had a lot that you received me and that I had a lot to share and it was not necessarily positive either. It was also like a lot of, un like, I think the word you use is unpacking and that for about 24 hours, you felt that there was just a constant focus on that. And even though you really wanted to show up for me and you did, um, it was just a lot and you didn't actually get necessarily seen or received and there wasn't maybe space for you to feel like you could share what you'd been through what you'd gone through your experience did i get that you did yeah um and i so i i can take responsibility i do take responsibility for the fact that the whole time i made the decision to Okay, I, I judge your experience to be uh, to be a priority in this moment. Your experience was such that um, it made sense to me to continue unpacking yours. And um, I think that what the reason we're having this conversation is that there wasn't a time during that where you made space, where you asked asked me. So what was I'm your sorry weekend? For my face? I I know, yeah, sorry. No, that's totally fine. Um so yeah, I so, so you didn't feel if I'm understanding what you didn't feel me making any space for you. And you experienced me like continually unpacking, and that not only was I aware, like I was unpacking, but there were like, I was actively maybe even blocking you from, from having any space. Yeah. Yeah. It did feel like, um, not only was I choosing to prioritize yours, there was, there, there was, there was a, a very, uh, you had a very strong stance of this is the thing that, that you wanted to work on. This, my experience of you was was that yes and so a block to me saying so that's you know that was a thing and let me tell you about mine yeah okay I think I I've heard um that I and I think I've mirrored that is there more is there anything else that you'd like to say to make sure that uh, you've expressed what you want expressed before I validate you mm. uh no I, I think I've covered it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to move into step two then. And I'm going to um, validate is the word that we usually use for this. Um, but here's how we do it. It's a very specific one. And I'm really glad that I had the script in front of me because it's not easy to hear where I let you down. And um, everything you shared makes sense to me. It makes sense to me because... I can remember coming home and taking over. And it makes sense to me because I remember, like, I have no recollection of you speaking for several hours after oh. I came home. So it makes perfect sense to me that you felt like an actual block there or you felt like there was no space for you because as you were saying, and I was like picturing what was happening, of, it makes perfect, of course you felt that way. I have no recollection of you saying anything other than like, nodding or 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 mirroring back all of my emotional experience and I was going on and on and um, I also know I had a couple of drinks that night um, which I don't drink very much but I know that I had a couple of drinks because we went out to dinner and I know that I also tend to talk like take over and get even more verbose then so it makes total sense why you would feel that way and um yeah. Did, does it feel like I'm hearing you? Does that feel like I'm yes. getting it? Yes, it does. Thank you. What else do I need to understand, like to hear, to understand your perspective fully? Um. So as you say that, it occurs to me, I just want to look back at the uh, script here. Um, okay. Um, no, I...
Interesting. So I actually have a meta question. Sure. I just ran across something that I I can see how I responded to you in what is essentially a passive aggressive way. And at this point, it's one of the things that I feel like, is there more? Oh yeah. I just noticed this thing about my behavior that I don't actually like. Okay. Awesome. You, you can choose to share that. And I I'm, and I can validate that for you as well. If you, yeah. if you want to, but please don't do a mea culpa for no reason. Cause you had right. an, you had big feelings, so you don't need to. Um, Okay, I'll I will note it for myself. I don't think it is actually relevant to okay. clearing this. So okay. No. So can I move to the third step then? Would that feel okay? Let's do. Okay. So the third step is to empathize. And um in this case, I'm finding it relatively easy to empathize, um, while also being embarrassed to the point that everybody see how red my ears are. I'm quite embarrassed about my exposure here. Um, and Ken, I can imagine that you're feeling um, unseen, um, maybe like a cog in a machine rather than a central, a main character. Um, like you might be feeling like I'm treating you like an NPC in my life story. I could imagine that you're feeling like your job is just support and you don't get to be the center of attention. Am I getting that right? Yeah. 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 Out. I also imagine that you are feeling kind of exposed in, in not just keeping the heroic role and saying like, I can do this. I can just keep doing this and I can just keep taking it. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I am, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to grow out of that, but it still comes up. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I could imagine that you're also feeling like you might want to do this differently and you might want to problem solve it. Um, so I want to, I want to acknowledge that I'm here for the problem solving afterward, but right now I just want to like say that I see, I see the effort you put in to staying present to me in a broken down situation where I was recovering for a very long time. And I, the story I'm telling myself about what you're feeling is that you are, um, that you're both proud of yourself for doing it while simultaneously being a you said not resentful, but I, I feel like maybe you are a little bit resentful. And I, I just want to say, I accept that resentment and see you doing the work to put it down. Hmm. Okay. But I don't know whether I'm getting that right. If you don't feel, is that, is that accurate? Um, I don't know if this is self-abandonment and I should feel some resentment. I'm a, I'm a little confused about it, but the, the resentment that I feel or the frustration is what feels like a pattern in my life recently of everything that I plan ending up having 18 other things that I didn't plan come in and get in the way and be obstacles to my plan. And honestly, I'm sure it's the universe responding to using the word lead for this year. <laughs> but um, there, are, there are some pettier feelings about, oh, more of this. Mm -hmm. Will there be a day when I just choose and act? Or is it going to be constant distractions? So, so I'm, I'm imagining that, that you're feeling, I like, I'm imagining that you're feeling seen now in those feelings and maybe also feeling a little bit um, ambivalent about sharing them with me rather than um, just bucking up and like staying, bucking up and, staying and being them. the heroic rock that's yeah. just sitting there. And I'm grateful that you chose to share it with me. Does that feel complete for you or is there anything more? That feels complete. Yes. Okay. Can we switch roles? 
Yes. Okay. So before we switch to problem solving, and this is the piece that most people miss, even though Ken was the one who had a, what might be called a complaint, a problem, um, an issue, whatever it is, we still take the time to actively swap. And so frequently we only do this side and then we try to move to the problem solving. So um, I'm going to give myself a briefer time period um, because I believe I can do it um, in a briefer time period, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so we go, right we now? go right back to step one. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're naming it. Um, okay, I'm going to center myself now. I statements. I went away for the weekend and I was nervous and and um, excited at the same time. I was like super excited to see all my people, but also nervous about what some stuff that was going down. Um, and then it got kind of not great for me. And I was really grateful for you making time to listen to me, including in the middle of the damn night. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure that I showed all of my gratitude for that. I don't know. And I don't need your, like, I don't need you to like reassure me, but I'm not sure that I showed it all. Um, and I, I experienced you as being very present for me when I came home. Very, very present. And I, I have no complaints. Um, Because how could I? Like you were just so damn present. And it did go on for like 24 hours. I, I agree. I concur. Um, And there is a little voice in me that says, yeah, and I've done that for you a million times. So there's mm. just a little bit of me that's looking for tit for tat. And I just want to name that. Would you mirror that for me? I was just going to ask to mirror that. Yeah. So I hear you saying that your, your experience was um, very uncomfortable and stressful and that you, um, that you felt supported by me and that you're aware you're, you're, you're feeling the fact that um, this is something that you've done for me a lot. Yeah. And I agree. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got that. You got that. It's on you now. Okay, where are we? Because you're the most... listener. Step one. End of step one. End of step one. So, okay, is there more? Is there, is there anything else? Mm. Oh yeah, there is. Um, when I came home, we're in a power dynamic and I also did kind of feel like this fit into the category of the power dynamic, like that this was an not just okay, but an actually appropriate move. So there's a part of me that feels very justified mm. and doesn't, doesn't feel totally open to the responsibility being on me, even though there's another part of me that's like, wants to be totally grown up. There's a part of our power dynamic that says that you will bear an, on an asymmetric load here. So I think I'm feeling a little bit of resistance and it's coming up right in my diaphragm, a little resistance to taking this on because we have a pre-negotiated agreement. And so I'm feeling resistance to that and like a little leg swept, like a little bit like you just like, Hey, but you said that I could. I'm feeling that. Okay. So can I mirror for you now? Yeah. So um, so I hear you saying that in in the context of our power dynamic, this feels appropriate and that um bringing it up as an issue feels like, um, would you say it, it undermines the, 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 the goals of the power dynamic? You said leg swept. Yeah, it feels like a part of me that's very young might hear this and say, next, next time, make sure you're smaller, make sure you're quieter. 
Mm, Here's this as a, an, a, a subtle, not so subtle request, a formal request to, even though we're in that negotiated power dynamic with an asymmetry, I should still watch myself and be a little smaller. And I, I it's just, a, it's, it's really just like a couple of parts of me. It's just a couple council members, but they're mm -hmm. pretty young and they feel there's like a, I think that's why the wound is like right here. It's like in that place where when you're little and you cry and you like can't catch your breath, it's, it's like that sensation right there coming up. So I think it's a pretty young part of me. Not real proud of it, but it's there. But yeah, okay. Um, I imagine that's a very tender feeling. Yeah, yeah. And I also feel okay. Like it's not overwhelming. It. I just feel a little confusion around it. But I, I do feel like... I feel like that's all. There's not more than that. Okay. Okay. So now are we ready for step two? More yeah. validation mm -hmm. of this. Um I I understand that uh very, very well. I, that that makes sense to me that those parts, which I know, which you we you have made visible to me are um would be feeling uh un feeling cheated like wait but this is what but this is what i we talked about this is how this is supposed to go yeah yeah, yeah. and then they and feel a little uncertain about like so now wait, yeah is this okay is it thinking, not well what's going to happen next time i have a, a yeah. an archie yeah yeah it's just a part though, because I also feel I like like I also feel like, yeah, you're totally freaking right. That's exactly how that went down. And I was super selfish for a very long, extended, straight, solid piece. Like <laughs> both so that's my I can hear my my voice like is all of a sudden like there. There's my grown-up voice. Mm -hmm. And my like little kid self is like, eh, mm -hmm. maybe not. But yeah. So both. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, that that makes sense to me. I, I understand um, how it would feel that way. Um, what else do I need to know? Understand your perspective. You know, I think that's that's it. I I didn't realize that the only thing I really needed was for you to understand that the power dynamic makes that a little scrambly for me. So mm -hmm. maybe we need to go back and just revisit our MBAs about that. So but we can yeah. talk about that in problem solving. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, step three. Okay. Um, so I imagine that that the that those feelings would be very destabilizing for those those little parts, and then you would be feeling. Well, I, I imagine that you would be feeling a certain amount of um, anger and resentment that I would bring it up. Mm. Uh, because, I mean, when I get cheated, I would feel resentful. And mm. I can imagine that happening for you. Is that how you felt? I get to You're be in the me. complexity of this. Um, I think I might. But you know what? I'm actually not feeling angry or resentful. And I want to say, so this is, like I said, we're playing with live ammo. This really happened. And this is the first time we're talking about it since it happened. And since we're doing this in a live demo, no, I'm like, no, okay, I can suffer. So like we get to expand and like, and, and model and be present. And it actually makes me kind of tear up a little bit because yeah, ouch, but also yeah, people hurt each other. It's and oops and ick and so i'm not feeling resentful that you brought it up um but i might have i can acknowledge that i might have felt that way if you brought it up like the next day if it had been like right turned around mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i actually appreciate the grace that you've given me because now i've had like a whole week to just be with it and um i didn't feel rushed to feel differently so thanks for that grace absolutely so is there more? No, I feel complete.
Okay.